Happy International Astronomy Day. Hello, I'm Rashmi, a physics undergrad from University of Delhi, and also I'm an amateur astronomer and a science communicator. Happy Astronomy Day. I'm Dr. Parshi Patel. I'm an astrophysicist, science communicator, STEM educator, and researcher based in London, Ontario, Canada. In 1973, Dog Bundes started the International Astronomy Day to make astronomy popular in the United States. Since then, it has gained momentum and it is celebrated across the world twice in a year, in spring and in fall. Uh, it is celebrated on a Saturday which lies close to the first quarter of the moon, which happens to be May 2nd and September 26th of this year. Every year, events across the world are organized at places like museums and planetariums uh, to target towards general public and space enthusiasts through various workshops and observing sessions. 2020, however, will be different due to pandemic. Since events are canceled across the world, here's how you can celebrate International Astronomy Day. For starters, look up and enjoy the moon. Notice the craters and the ejecta rays. Know about the faces of the moon, share it with others. And why not take a picture of the moon? You can use your smartphone to take the picture. If you would like to try a little bit of advanced photography in addition to the moon, you can also take pictures of the Milky Way galaxy or even do star trails. Want to spend time learning how to take such shots? I'll leave the link in the description for the Milky Way photography series I'm working on. When you look up to the night sky, you'll see many constellations like the Big Dipper, the Orion, the Pleiades, depending on where you live. Now, if you want to learn more about the constellations, you should definitely check out the apps like Skyview or Google Sky. My favorite thing about the night sky is just the number of stars, you know? If you go away from the city, you see so many stars and it makes you realize how we are, we as in humans, Earth are part of the solar system. The solar system is part of the Milky Way galaxy. The galaxy is part of this giant big universe. Um, my favorite thing about the night sky is just looking up, looking at the stars, looking at the constellations, um, you know, just thinking about our place in the universe and the universe in us. I also love to take pictures of the night sky. Um, it's something that I've enjoyed doing for past six to seven years. I've loved how um, the pictures show us much more than what our eyes can see. And it tells us that there is so much more in the night sky than what's visible to us. Uh, something that is uh, profound in many ways is that you're looking at almost everything that's around in the universe that may or may not be visible to you, but is part of this universe and is part of you in many ways. When you stay for long enough, you'll notice something cool, the colors. For example, Mars looks bright red, whereas Venus looks pale yellow. The stars Rigel and Sirius looks blue, and the famous Betelgeuse star, it looks orange or red. If you know, uh, if you have observed it, you may know that. Now, there's a reason behind the colors. For example, Mars looks bright red because of the iron, uh, because of the iron oxide present in its soil, which gives it the rusty color. Whereas the stars, the star Betelgeuse is red, or, or I will say orangish red, because it is a, a red supergiant. And uh, in the same constellation, the star Rigel looks blue, because even though it's a supergiant, it looks blue because it's so hot and massive. And just by looking at the stars and their colors, we can know like a uh, few things about the stars, like what is their temperature or what is their sh uh, what is their size, and that is the coolest thing about the night sky for me. I hope you all are staying home and practicing social distancing. And here's something more that you can enjoy in the coming night sky. The meteor shower Eta Equirid speaks next week. And here's a fun fact. It is associated with the comet Halley that orbits uh, that comes to us every 72 years. And if you want to learn more about meteor showers, you should definitely check out my video. And then we have the last supermoon of the year. The 7th of April was the flower moon. The one that is coming up on May 6th slash 7th is the pink moon. A supermoon is a new moon or a full moon coinciding with the moon's closest point to Earth in its monthly orbit. If you want to view a bright moon, this is your last chance to view the supermoon in 2020. In addition, in the pre-dawn hours of May 11th, you will be able to see a bright moon as well as four planets in the sky. Well, 
fourth one if you have a telescope. Jupiter, Saturn, and Mars will be visible with the naked eye. However, you can also view Neptune if you have a small telescope. So make sure to not miss these amazing upcoming events. We hope you all like the video. Clear skies and have a stargazing. Clear skies!